Hi everyone, this video is a part of Macquarie University's coding tutorials. Hi everyone, today we will be talking about squares, rectangles, circles, and the different modes available to change the drawing behavior of those shapes. Let's jump right in. Square. Starting off with the robust square, the square function is an excellent building block, no pun intended, which, as all shapes do, takes an x and a y position. It also takes a third value, which is the height and width of the square, when drawn in this processing window. For example, square 90, 30, 80. Rectangle. Rectangles are similar to a square and take similar values we can decide a different height and width width instead of both values being the same. Rect 10, 70, 20, 90. Bonus tip, there's also a way to round the corners of a rectangle. Try adding an extra fifth value on the end. Rect mode. There's a special function called rect mode that lets us change how rectangles and squares are drawn on the screen. By default, the coordinates we use to draw a square or rectangle indicate the top left hand corner of the shape. We can change this with rect mode. There are several options on how to use it. Rect mode center takes the first two parameters as the middle point of the rectangle leaving the third and fourth values as the width and height. Rect mode corner takes the first two parameters as the upper left corner of the square or rectangle and leaves the third and fourth values as the width and height. Rect mode corners takes the first two parameters as the location of one corner and the third and fourth parameters as the coordinates of the opposite corner. The keywords such as center or corner are called parameters, and they must be written in all capitals. Also, it must be noted that these functions only change the shapes that are drawn below them. In our code example, we have rect mode center on line 4, which only impacts the shapes from line 5 onwards, and has no influence on shapes drawn above that line. Circle. Circles are very similar to squares in their form of required values. Circle is an x and a y value for the position, and the third value is the value of the diameter. The diameter is the full length of the circle. Circle, a, b, 30, 20. Equip other rectangles of the circle word. They take the same x and y position that we are used to for our 2D shapes, but they also take an extra two values that dictate the width and the height of the eclipse. Eclipse mode. Eclipse mode operates similarly to rect mode. We are able to change the starting position of the drawn shape by changing these modes. It has the same parameters or values we can use as rect mode, center, corner, and corners. Center take the first two values as the middle point of the shape, corner take the first two values as the upper left corner, and corners takes the first two parameters as one corner of the upper boundary of the eclipse, and the last two parameters of the opposite corner. As we wrap up this section, let's start a new code window or comment out the previous lines of code. We can see a great example in the different drawing behavior with and without rect mode center. Here we have rect, rect mode, and another rect. The rect mode and eclipse mode are very helpful, and we will suggest having a read through some of the extra use cases on the processing website. We still have a more complex example in the future. That's all for this session. See you in the next one.